Magic Land Farms. Uh, I would like to show you uh, some of our rare summer apples. They're not uh, commercially grown in large quantities because uh, of the uh, heat of the summer, they can't keep them in storage. So uh, if, when you see them down at the uh, stand, uh, you would want to, uh, you know, purchase them fairly quick because I won't be having them there long and keep them in the refrigerator so they last a bit longer. Their shelf life isn't quite as good as some of the later ones. This one here is Vistabella. It's a uh, very, it, it's a, I would consider it more of a fresh eating apple. It has almost a berry flavor to it. It's a crisp, it is tart, it is, I wouldn't consider it a sweet apple, but the flavor of it is quite uh, uh, berry-ish and other hints of other fruit, but uh, this one ripens quite early. It's in, usually starts in uh, late July for us. This is just towards the end of it right now. Here's off of the good one. The, uh, continuing to show you the uh, where our rare early varieties of apples. These are Lubs Queen. It's a uh, Russian uh, apple. It actually was a. Uh, uh, it was brought over from Russia to find out if they could get a very cold resistant rootstock. And they discovered that it actually tasted good. They entered it into a contest. Now this is back in the 1800s. They entered it into an apple eating contest and it actually won. I don't know why, because it tastes like a grapefruit. It's not necessarily my favorite eating apple. Uh, because it really does have a lot of the flavors of a grapefruit with a little bit of apple. It's a uh, nice crisp and of course quite tart because of uh, has the grapefruit properties. <laughs> oh yeah. Very unique in a lot of the apple varieties that we have. Another one of our rare early uh, summer apples would be the Viking. It's a uh, uh, it's another tart apple, but it has a it has this uh, berryish flavor similar to the uh, uh, Vistabella, a little bit less so, a little bit more like a Macintosh if you've had those. We're just starting to uh, harvest these. So, they are a nice, fine textured apple. They would be, uh, boom. Mm. I do like of these, uh, some of the early apples, I do prefer these over some of the others, like Love Screen. The uh, shelf life of these are a little bit better than some of them, but like all early summer apples, they should be refrigerated. And another one of our rare early summer apples, actually the rare, the uh, earliest of all of them, is the Quinte. It is a very fresh, uh, it's a tart, refreshing type of apple. It's not a super flavorful one, but uh, being the first apple of the year, our family has always uh, looked forward to this, to, a, uh, to start the apple season, finally get some good fresh apples. Mm. 
And this was a uh, variety that was developed in Canada. <clears throat> Back in the 1950s, I believe. So, yeah, it is still grown a bit, but once again, due to being the uh, early summer apple, it's not grown that much uh, commercially. And here's another uh, another one of our rare apples, early summer apples, is the Jersey Mac. This is an, as uh, some people put it, it's the uh, the apple for the uh, people who can't wait for a Macintosh. Uh, they grow this so they can ha start eating the Mac and flavor, Macintosh flavored apples. It's a uh, it, interesting trait about it. It's, it has an annoying habit that as soon as it's ready, it starts uh, falling. So it's a very annoying when harvesting because you have to do it right at the right time. Its flesh is just like a Macintosh. Nicely, uh, nice white, fine textured. And very much flavor like a Macintosh. Which is good. This is another one of our rare summer apples. And this is uh, the variety name of Summer Rambo. It is a pie apple. Uh, I don't recommend it for fresh eating, but it does make excellent pies. This year, they're awfully small. They're usually about three or four times bigger than this. Um, it is tart with lots of uh, good apple flavor. It's an old French apple. Early colonists uh, really liked, so they brought it over. That is, uh, that's it for the uh, small amount of uh, summer apples that I wanted to show this time. Uh, I will be showing some other varieties that we have later as they ripen. We do have on Magic Gun Farms here over a hundred varieties of apples and this year is going to be a uh, good showcase year since most of them are actually producing. So look forward to that. Thank you for watching.